All right, so we've got our hammer and screwdriver. Um, the brazier. Now turn the flashlight off so we don't burn more of the uh, battery. Activate brazier. Okay, so we got the most important part done. Now we can uh, get some work done. Our wood down there. Not nearly enough planks. We need more planks. All right, but 11 a.m., we've got the basics of the base ready to go. We've got the uh, safe fire source, or fire containment anyway, firewood for the fire. We've got plenty of matches and lighters and stuff to get that going. Uh, a few nail board traps we might take advantage of. Um, we've got the basic tools, the hammer and a screwdriver done. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that. Those. Don't have nearly enough raw materials for some of the things I want to do to pass time. But uh, the biggest problem is going to be focus. Focus continues to be a big ass problem lately with the changes they've made. They got the brazier made. I don't need to worry about keeping those things around anymore. It's just um, just keep making a big pile of raw materials, and then I'll start doing some crafting. I think we'll craft until uh, sun goes down, and we'll do a night raid, get the rest of the materials we might need. I didn't get nearly as much of the city as explored as I was hoping to, but uh, it's pretty big. It's looking pretty large, considering. No nameplate yet, and we've still got uh, mostly all residential. So, that's good, I guess, but it means I got a ways to go to get the gear and stuff out of here if it's all lake out this direction and I'm stuck up against it. That means I got a long drive with a vehicle to try to get, uh, get my stuff clear eventually. Not super happy about that, especially being naked. Uh, I should probably get some bandages going, too. Go ahead and get a fire going... Start a fire, you'll need a fire source. I have firewood. I've got. Oh, don't have any. Never mind. That was my. Let's put the match book. Alright. Uh, I lost track. Lost my, lost my line of thought. What the heck was I about to do? Uh, I was about to do something. I don't need the needle. Oh yeah, washboard. Washboard. Bandage. That was the other thing. Alright, give me... Oh, and that focus. That focus! That's why I brought the comic book. Plus two in seven minutes. Alright, comic book. Do your work. Not really doing that much. Oh, the hoarder. That's right. I forgot. Negative 56 from the hoarder value. That's entertaining. That's why my focus sucks. Um, Totally forgot about that. Does that instantly go away or does that have to bleed off? Because, man, that'll really suck if it's instant get but then takes time to get rid of let's find out so if we grab up the nail boards that puts us almost full give me the sewing kit and vibrator 
That dropped it to negative 32. All right, hoarder. You suffer morale penalties for carrying less than the maximum volume. Probably simpler down here while I'm doing this stuff just to um, not have carry capacity. <laughs> That's what I thought I was going to be able to get away with is uh, by not wearing clothes and such. To not have a volume for it to compute anything against. So I thought we'd be able to... Uh, get around that particular thing. Is naked part of the build or just starting to really? Nope, we are all naked all the time. The rule is I cannot wear any piece of clothing with greater than 30 coverage. So the exception is accessories like eyeglasses. Um, but um, yeah, can't wear anything greater than 30 coverage. So I cannot use a duffel bag because that's 40 coverage. I can use backpacks and things like that because that's 30 coverage, but uh, nothing greater than 30%. So we're going to be running around pretty much bare ass naked the entire challenge. What else can we grab? Too much. Support. Nope. 995. Man, that's as close as I can get. <laughs> Still saying negative 32. Let's uh, see if it bleeds off a little faster, though. Yeah, now it's gone. All right. So I just have to keep it near max. It'll be slightly inconvenient, but we can work around it. Go, focus, go. I need you to be back up in the high numbers, not the low numbers. Good thing we got plenty of time to burn. Oh, going to top out around 90. There we go. All right, 102. Now let's do bandages. Uh, 12 to start. There's tailoring level one. So one level down. And I don't have enough rags laying around for the next parts. Let's uh, butcher sheet. Butcher another sheet. Yeah, that's, that's not very much. All right. I'm going to need more string for the thread. I don't have nearly enough of that either. Should have been grabbing up the long strings from all the uh, broken windows we went next to. Let's... Um, grab up the washboard. Got soap over there already. I'm going to need light. So uh, let's just use the flashlight again. Come here, backpack. Oh, that's right. Uh, huh. Makes for an interesting, sort of interesting conundrum. Reeled that, activate that, clean that. There we go, we have our perfect condition leather backpack. Oh yeah, now we're styling. But now I've got negative morale gonna hit me again. <laughs> I think I'll just leave the soap there. We still got eight water in the toilet. Uh, yeah. Flashlight off again. All right, got our gear all cleaned up. We grab got those two. Drink the lemonade.
activate first aid kits. Get the uh, first aid book. Everything else can just stay here. Uh, read the book. Read the other book. A little bit of negative morale. <laughs> oh, four. Close enough. All right, let's do the uh, first aid. Very, very important. Get your first aid up, kids. Can't recommend enough that you uh, raise your first aid skill. First aid level one. All right, now we're going to start applying some bandages. Um... Where the hell are my bandages? There they are. All right, we'll do a real bandage on the really damaged one. We'll also hit it with some disinfectant. The rest of them... Yeah, I probably should. All right, so we got all the parts dis or disinfected and bandaged up. Average. That's fine for now. We'll keep working on that. Six o'clock. A couple more hours, we'll have darkness. So that's uh, blown through our day pretty quickly. Let's drink our lemonade so we have the bottle available. And a couple of toastums for happy value. And we'll go take a drink. All right, so we're in good shape there. Um, still haven't gotten all of the crafting done that I wanted to do. I'd like to hold off on that just in case I come back with a uh, decent supply of books. Although the arm warmers are pretty easy. Um, oh yeah, I need more, uh, more thread. One, two, butcher, everything. 400, that'll work for now. Alright, what are we at? 86, need comic book. Power. Twelve. Whoops. All right, tailoring two. Put your that stuff up. So we get one rag back. <laughs> uh, that got us to uh, tailoring two. Three is what I need to be able to make my own backpacks and to start having a chance to repair things at a decent rate. Um. What is the next one? Balaclava? Oh, I think I need survival for Balaclava. <laughs> Terrible choices. Terrible. Yeah, I need Balaclava. I need survival one. Uh, we could probably pick it up pretty quick and easy when uh, the sun comes up just by uh, popping down to the forest or popping out to the forest and uh, searching the bushes. I just need one level. We're going to need survival anyway pretty quick for some other things as well. So I guess we'll have to wait on that. I don't have a good recipe to level tailoring right now to that third level that I need. Um, we got fab to one. Next up is uh, the not the needles, the knitting needles. Yeah, knitting. 
I'm gonna need splintered wood for that. Let's uh, let's go make some splintered wood. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I gotta make another. I gotta make a replacement crowbar. PM. It's gonna be gonna be time to uh, get moving on our night raid. So I want to make before we get moving. Can't use a stuffle bag because it's got 50% coverage. <clears throat> Just going to go straight to um, backpacks as soon as I get one more level. If I don't happen to find any more between now and then. Don't need any of that for now. I don't think there's anything I can craft that's going to be helpful for me running around at the moment. We'll be making ourselves unhappy and our focus will drop. That's an interesting problem. I don't remember playing with Hoarder before. And if you go out on a looting run... Well, I guess on a looting run it wouldn't matter. What I was thinking through is... Um, when you go out on a looting run, you try to have a lot of carrying capacity, so you, you carry as little as possible and you have as much capacity as you can. Well, that's going to make a hoarder go berserk. Um, you'll have massive negatives, and then if you get into fights or do anything that's going to try to level up a skill, your focus is going to be really, really bad, and you'll have to spend some time recovering your focus when you get back to base. Um, but as long as you're just moving and grabbing stuff, I guess it doesn't really make that big a difference. Yeah, all right. So, if I keep the gear I've got, we're up to 20 carry volume. Definitely going to divest. Let's get rid of pots, sewing kits, vibrator and washboard, food. That one, those. All right, 9 out of 20. That's what I'm carrying the nail board traps. I don't think I'm going to be ready to set those up yet. Let's leave those by the door. I might put them to use. 3 out of 20. Alright, that's better. <laughs> carry around ballast. <laughs> it's a good point. Good point. You could carry just junk around with you to fill up the uh, volume and then toss it out as needed. So, ballast is a, a good reference for that. Could do that. It's really I just need a little more a little more experience with the um the negative morale and how quickly it recovers when you go back to full volume. As long as it doesn't take a huge, huge amount of time for that debuff to go away, then it's not that big a deal. So, I'm not overly concerned if that's the case, but um we'll see if if that's what happens. For this first trip out, I'm just going to go Minimal, like I usually do. Grab what I need and come back. And then we're probably going to sleep anyway and um, recover the morale. Well, actually, we wouldn't recover morale, would we? I'm still kind of curious what happens if I go completely naked and I have zero out of zero volume. What what does Hoarder do when you have zero, zero? How does the calculation work? <laughs> we're going to find out. Old school and get a cart? No, 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 no. I haven't used a cart in... God, I can't remember the last time I used a cart. It's been a long time. I haven't felt a need for a cart in forever. It's uh, it's not good for, for fast maneuvering. It's it's terrible for fast maneuvering. For the, for the way I maneuver through cities, daylight, nighttime, whenever, um, you can't haul a cart through windows and over rough terrain and that kind of stuff, so... 
Um, it really, really cuts down on your movement options if you're trying to drag a cart behind you. So I used to use it when I was new to the game, but uh, the more I play, the less I have any desire to use a cart. <clears throat> All right, where are we? I think we're good here. Um, got bandages for emergencies. We got a little bit of painkiller. Oh, I need to take the uh, I need to take the alcohol with me. Come here, Brandy. Brandy. Oh yeah. Brandy is my painkiller. Keeping those. What what is my dodge now? Four point seven. That's fine. We're gonna go with it. Alright, so ideally I'd like to heal up before we go out, but I just I don't think I can afford to wait. Yeah, I guess technically I could. We could just hang out down here. I could, uh, I'd have to stay awake another 16 hours or so crafting and reading. Problem is I don't have enough reading material and I'll run out of crafting stock or crafting supplies pretty quick. I need to make at least one trip out to grab some books and, uh, basic gear. I might come back early and then, uh, read or craft the rest of the time away. That way I can uh, minimize my exposure to more damage until I can get some healing done. A damn Z9! We'd be in awesome shape if it wasn't for that one Z9 just ripping me up here in this basement. Live and learn. Alright. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to take off. Um, whoops. <laughs> it's, it's not dark. It's summertime. I forgot. Sun goes down later in summertime. We got about probably, what, another half hour, hour? <laughs> I just assumed. I, I'm so used to my springtime starts that um, it'd definitely be dark on a normal start. I forgot we were in summer. All right, let's um, let's read our our mechanics book. Oh, my morale is too low. That's because I got yeah, negative seventy. <laughs> wow. All right, let's experiment right damn now. So, as soon as I divested myself of all that gear, hardly any time's gone by since I did it. So we got this huge gap. That's causing the hoarder in me to just go berserk <laughs> with unhappiness. So I want to know, if I say worn items over to here, dump it all, I am now nakedy naked. Not a damn thing on me. We'll let a little bit of time pass. Do to do to do, do to do to do. Negative four. So yeah, it goes down real fast. That was like a whole... And that's, the, that's the cold negative that's getting me there. So yeah, it goes away almost instantly as soon as you make the adjustment. So that's good. That's good to know. So we'll just be uh, we'll just be naked. I'll bring this stuff down a space. We will uh, grab uh, under the hood from here and read it. Right, stop. I guess I gotta put something on in order to be able to pick it up. Uh, I think enough time's gone by. Let's just put everything back on. Yeah, almost 11 o'clock. Alright, too much time went by, really. Uh, let's not eat. I'm just not gonna eat. We're still overweight. I don't need to eat. Um... Yeah, so drop under hood, wield. Eh, it's wield nothing. It's wield nothing. Not quite five dodge with our current setup. Morale's gonna go berserk again. That might act, that's gonna cause some problems. Yeah, I might have to pick up some ballast. Might have to pick up some two by fours or something to carry with me. What did I not finish? Lock pick. Eh, I don't care about the lock. Alright, where are we going to go? 
I'm thinking of going out this way, actually. Hey, zombies. You zombie zombies don't worry me any. Truck zombie down the road. Now we're in easy mode compared to what it was. Now I don't have to worry about crowds of zombies coming after me. And I'm going to be faster than damn near everything. Alright. Uh, we do have a gun store nearby. I could go lockpick my way into if the front entrance isn't too crowded. Let's work our way up that way. I don't yet have a weapon. Plus, we got that SWAT van if I can get the stupid zombies away from it. Mobile meth lab. This time it is the meth lab. What do we got? We got aspirin and some cough syrup. <laughs> it's not the best. Uh, non drowsy cough syrup. No thanks. Don't need a pork pie hat. No wheels, so I can't drive. So, I don't care if they shred it. Don't remember which ones I've been inside. I don't like the looks of that group. Another under the hood. Alright, utility basement. Is that a food dehydrator and antique adornments? Well, that's a pretty good uh, mix. Books is one of the big things I'm looking for. Food dehydrator, though. I'll take the medium battery. 11 out of 20. Mm. All right, temporarily, I'll I'll agree to take. Don't need a thermos. Uh, yeah, electronic safe can't do anything about that. Alright, so done, and I want to go north from here, or out and across. Grab strings, Vorm, grab strings! Disinfectant. Alright, done. What you got? Bottle Jack. I like Bottle Jack. Let's pull that out on the street. A note. Can't drive it, and can't drive it. Oh, they're going to let me get to the front. Oh, it's one of these. Arr, I hate these ones. All right, we'll make the loud entrance. Just constantly afraid something in here is going to have a trap. So far, I haven't seen a trap. We're ready with rounds. We'll take it. I don't have anything else at the moment. And muzzle brake. <laughs> Body bag. Sheets. Ooh, long underwear.
Yeah, it's just nothing in this gun store. I, I really don't like this gun store. Whole lot of nothing for the most part. So that's disappointing. Alright, which way do we go? Probably be wiser to go north. I got more map uncovered, so I know which buildings I'm moving into. Let's do that. We might be able to circle around and get back to that uh, that SWAT truck. Would like to be a blanket. Firemans. Um, Firemans can have some good stuff. They're not too good at combat. Not sure I've got my bare fists with my martial art have enough damage to get through the turnout gear. Let's find out. Let's try a few swings at the uh, Firemans, see what happens. One damage. Ah, uh, now a whole bunch of guys are piling in. <laughs> And four damage with a critical. That's not going to be enough. Grabbing is bad. Yeah, not near enough. Better run mode around those guys. I'm not going to mess with them right now. Not worth the, uh, the potential danger. Oh, gunsmith basement. <laughs> Occupied gunsmith basement. Uh, survivors? Smoke zombies? Both? Well, that's interesting. Liars in a red dot site, huh? Uh, sure. Forcer and Uzi, shotgun slugs, not too impressed yet. Double barrel. Yeah, it's a pretty bad one. Pretty bad one. Hmm. Which gun did we already pick up? The Breda, is that 9 mil? 9 mil. Not much stopping power in that. I don't like any of these choices. We'll grab the uh, the ball camo. That's uh, looking a little better. <laughs> light machine gun. <laughs> well, it was. Well, I discovered it's a light machine gun. Firing two two threes. Ah, good old lead works. Um, nah, <laughs> I'm not taking a lead works light machine gun with me. Ten pounds, four volume. I don't think so. <laughs> Neither Goliath. Howdy to you too. So we do have a survivor zombie in here with us. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, full stamina. Done. Go to the house next door. Quietly. Wrap up some more string. Ooh, another flashlight with battery. And there's the nurture book. Kind of blocking my way to the rest of the house. All right, let's go up this way. We'll uh, check the kitchen out from the other direction. 
<laughs> Almond milk, milk, cheese. Good old summer starts. Rotten, rotten, rotten. Another battery. Take the MP3 player. That'll help keep us happy. Damn it. I did not mean to be running during that little process. Uh, to the top outside. Call that one good. All right, let's get these buildings over here facing the uh, back side of the pit. Oh, garage. Can you give me a perfect condition car in the garage? That would be pretty awesome, Sauce. A chicken. A chicken. Brown chicken. Brown chick. Uh, yeah, let's take a book of fairy tales. Important to start picking up some of these books you, you and me both have been ignoring in the past that uh, give you fun factor and raise your morale. So hard to raise morale nowadays. Ah, empty garage. Not even a tool. Sad making. Butcher knife. Uh, yeah, we'll replace our steak knife with a butcher knife. More milk that I can't drink. Snakes. Snakes and chickens. <laughs> Down the way, chicken. Um blocking access to a few things. We'll lure him away and run around him. Him or her. Whichever. There's detergent. I do need some more cleaning material. Nothing in the bathroom. More toastums. How are we doing for carry capacity? 18 out of 20. Good thing we're close to home. We could run back and drop and then come back out. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's... I was going to head right into there, but I uh, guess not. These are the bodies I mentioned where sometimes there's some stuff. Combat boots. Can't wear no combat boots. Alright, nothing we can take advantage of, unfortunately. Alright, let's grab us a downfill blanket. Wield it. Nah, I don't need that. See if I can manage to not walk right into bad guys on my way back to the base. I'm in the wrong house. I'm in the wrong house. <laughs> hey guys, come over here. Come on, get over here. Get away from the basement entrance to my little my little den. Ah, it's probably enough string for a while. So that that kind of maneuvering, I mean, I I don't know how often I mention that kind of stuff because I don't know if new players understand that you can do this kind of stuff. I mean, the the place I wanted to go was. Got a chock full of zombies. I knew I had a movement advantage, so I yelled a few times to get their attention and started moving them this way, just making sure I maintained a couple spaces. Then uh, as soon as I figured I had them, the herd moving the direction I wanted, I just uh, kind of looped around. Now we can just easily head back down into the basement. That kind of um, maneuverability and knowledge of how to uh, 
adjust positioning of the zombies. Super, super important to uh, kind of get the hang of that and uh, save yourself a lot of grief. Not a bad trip so far. I'm pretty happy. Um, don't need to take all of... I don't need to take any of those. Eat the brandy! Eh, pliers are minimally useful. Prop back the food dehydrator. I'm actually more happy for that for the battery, the 500 charge battery, than I am for the dehydrator. I likely won't ever use it. Don't need the ammo with me right now, and I'm not going to fire a Beretta while we're out doing night raiding. And we'll drop the blanket over here on our sleeping couch. Just need to bring a pillow back next time, and we're good to go. Okay, yep, let's get moving again. Yeah, I, I, in watching players that are new, streams and things like that, they tend to freak out a little too much. I mean, it's understandable. They don't understand the movement rates. and I mean, I, I have an in, inherent understanding and knowledge of speed and movement rates and what to expect and all that kind of stuff. So it's um, completely different. I just like to point out certain things that I do so that uh, people will take a moment to examine their surroundings and... Um, Make, make educated decisions about how they're going to deal with certain situations. Um, and I'm going to say over and over again, night reading is so easy nowadays. So, so easy. Man, they nerf the hell out of uh, the damage potential at night when they remove shady zombies and acid zombies. And you can see shock zombies from a million miles away. <laughs> Uh, you don't even need really maneuvering. Tiny bit of night vision, and you can night raid like there's no tomorrow. Okay, where were we? I think I finished up both of these. I want to say I did. Head right up the uh, the road here. I'm going to stay kind of in the middle, see if we can get some sight on some uh, vehicles we haven't seen before. Poor, uh, poor street sweepers. Do they even have a real function nowadays? Now that their their gear has been nerfed so hard, <laughs> a single lighter. Remember, remember the good old days, and there were like fifteen items in a street sweeper, including Hack Pro. <laughs> well, what happened? Did they just not pick up any gear towards the end of the cataclysm? Any uh, any junk off the streets? Was everybody really clean and polite towards the end? Ooh. Yeah, that's a bit of a crowd. Uh, is Mr. Mole Rat over here? Is Mr. Mole Rat doing this? We got bolt cutters on the ground. I think Mr. Mr. Mole Rat might be uh, accountable for some of this uh, this destruction. I've forgotten where I left him. <laughs> I've lost track of where Mr. Mole Rat. Oh, yep, Mr. Mole Rat. <laughs> And he's probably in perfect shape because he's got a really high healing factor. So he'll be killing zombies for quite a while. Now I can take advantage of it. Give me the bolt cutters. That's all I care about there. I'll take some ammo. Another cash card. Don't need any more fire making. Take the smartphone. Oh yeah. Naked mole rat is on the loose. Candy and cookies would be good. Whoops. All right, nothing else in this pile. <laughs> Block. Um, I have to compare that. I don't think I'm going to bother taking it. Don't tell me to please fix. <laughs> I uh, I stay well away from uh, dev contribution, code walking, code changing, any of that stuff. I got my, my, my slot, my niche, and I'm sticking to it. I leave that for, for smarter folks than me to go do.
That's another zombie just got killed. Who else? That's another zombie dead. Oh, oh yeah, kill Mr. Policeman. <laughs> I need to get. Oh, there's a uh, there's a shrieker nearby. I got dazed. I got dazed by the damn shrieker. All right, policemans, what did you leave? Another cash card. Baton! Don't want the baton. Don't see anything here I care about for now. Melted milk balls are okay. That's it. That's fine. I could keep leading zombies into them. <laughs> and, uh... The deal with the mole rat is they've got such a massive healing factor. If you never fought a mole rat, be very, very careful about mole rats. They are nasty early game. Unless you're packing a pretty heavy caliber gun or uh, some pretty nifty martial arts and such, they will wreck you. So don't don't tread treat them lightly. Mole rats are nothing to uh, Nothing to take lightly. Um, super high healing factor, and um, they hit pretty hard, and they collapse ceilings. So they'll they'll trap you in rubble and then nibble you to death. So out in the open like this, he's not too dangerous to me, especially with my mobility. And I can lead him around to kill zombies for me. So what I need to be doing is uh, do this. Hey, zombies. I want all of you zombies that are in the area to come over here and play with Mr. Mole Rat. Yes. All zombies are welcome. Everybody come dogpile on Mr. Mole Rat. Good luck, zombies. <laughs> oh, here comes more zombies. Now they're starting to pile in. How you doing, Mr. Mole Rat? He's down one bar so far. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn the light off again. We'll relocate so they don't go after me. We'll just let the magic happen. Oh, feral runners after me. Eh, where'd you go, mole rat? Doesn't quite have them all killed yet. I'll get on the far side of him. How you doing, moly? He might actually go down. That's enough zombies. He he could actually not survive that. They will overcome his healing rate at some point. We'll just listen for the fun. As soon as I see zombies coming towards me, I'll know the mole rat's down. Opportunities! Love to take advantage of opportunities like this. They're still trying. I haven't been able to get a look at them recently. I don't want to flip the flashlight on because that'll draw zombies from further away towards me. So I'll just get my stamina back while we listen to the fun. Damn crawling zombies gonna come after me, huh? He's still up there killing zombies. That's interesting. All right, how you doing, mole rat? Oh yeah, still four bars. <laughs> He's killed enough of them now that his healing rate is uh, getting ahead of what they can possibly do, damage-wise. So he's gonna come out of this full strength. So we've now got guns, 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 <laughs> laptops. Lighters and smartphones and a bunch of really, really bad clothing that I don't care about. USB drives, sushi made easy, some more coca, a bunch of uh, junk food. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed actually. There's not as much cool stuff in there as I was hoping for. Oh, there's a diver's watch so I can tell how cold it is. Lots of diver's watches.
Now, if I brought the shock zombie over, shock zombie would have a pretty good chance of killing him, especially if there were other zombies nearby. Alright, so double lot. Pretty much everything gun wise is in that next space over. I'm safe to move one more over. So, Remington 870 with 5 out of 6. Uh, we'll definitely take that. I don't care about the Glock. Actually, yeah, that's the 9 mil. Don't care. I want the shotgun ammo. Take the cash card. And I think that might be all of those. Dive watch in the area. Dive watch. Grab a dive watch so we can tell what temperature it is. Not gonna grab candy. All right, it's back off again. So yeah, Mr. Mole Rat's quite the uh, quite the zombie killer. Um, now the batteries in those UPSs can't be taken out, so the UPS uh, cell phones. <clears throat> Nah, no mole rat emotes. They're fun, but they don't show up often enough. <laughs> Wouldn't be too useful. Uh... All right, let's turn the flashlight back. Who else is around? Get over here, you guys. Mole rat needs some more playthings. Yeah, he actually ran out. Get back above the street there, mole rat. <laughs> Damn cheesy mole rat! Surface! Oh, he's killing him underground. <laughs> From underground. That's funny. These guys can't see him, though. I need them. There he is. There's Mole Rat. Alright, let's, uh... Anything in this space? That cell phone battery I can grab. There's a backpack. If I grab it, though... More divers watches. Swim goggles. Lots and lots of clothes. Oh, PBA mask. Gotta take that so we have, assuming I get to the welding point, we uh, have that option. Alright, unload. Phone. All right, zombies are next to me. Let's get rid of them. No, everybody, group up on mole rat. Leave me alone. All right, that crowd might be able to do it. There's a soldier in that group. I'll even let the battery run out. I got recharges for the battery now, so. Oops. Hey there, firemans. Um, you're really inconveniently located, Mr. Firemans. Hmm. Yeah, it's cheesy right up until you actually listen to the story earlier in the uh, the episode. It's a theme thing, not a 
build cheesy character thing. What, what, why the hell would I do cheesy character build for free points? <laughs> why would I jack up all my other ratings just to uh, to do that? That would be silly. It's part of the theme. There is a purpose to it. Do do do. Do do do. Hmm. I'm debating whether I want to shoot the uh, the firefighter. Nah, let's not make noise. Let's just get him, get him added to the group. Go, Mulrad, go! I <laughs> can't even kill this, uh... Crawling zombie. Six dodge is good. Uh, I probably have enough cash cards for the rest of my my playthrough by this point. And now a zombie dog. Oh, I'm starting to hate these dogs. Something fierce. Yeah, I just, I get torn up by these zombie dogs. Just Z9s and dogs. Now my right leg's all messed up. Uh, and the right leg bandage is about to go away, so that's not good. Not sure how long it takes to apply a bandage. Let's see. Apply right leg. Hurt annoying. Stupid dogs are the bane of this guy's existence. Even though we're high dodge... Pretty good uh, fist of cuffs skills, three unarmed, which gives us all the bonuses for the martial arts style we're using, but um, dogs are just ripping me up. They seem to be just able to ignore my dodge for some reason. I'm not sure how the mechanics actually work out, how the math works. Mole rat's still sitting at four. <laughs> he's, he's working his way through them. Go, Mole rat, go! Too good an opportunity to pass up having the mole rat out here. <laughs> Clearing the streets for me. Guess I could start pulping. I'm worried about hitting one of his mass kill spots. Yeah, yeah. It's crap. Get over here, you guys. Come, come play, come play games with Mr. Mole Rat. All right, Mole Rat killed them all. He's underground again. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Mole Rat. That is that is some impressive work. A water cannon. <laughs> Somebody brought a water cannon to a Mole Rat fight. Hmm. More uh, nine mil ammo. Screwdriver set. Yay! I was really hoping for a hacksaw or a wrench. So, turnout gear, firefighter gear. Still not getting anywhere near what I thought we would get from all of these dead zombies. Triple A guide may or may not be the uh, anarchist one. Another first aid kit up by the... Uh, uh, cop. So there's some stuff in there I'd like to grab, but uh, I'm gonna have to get these guys introduced to each other. Right, let's turn the flashlight off. And all right, rocks and rebar are now also available to me in mass. Another firefighter. Another opportunity for a halligan bar or a uh, fire axe.
Hey, Morat. Where'd you kill that guy? Um, not sure where he killed the firefighter. Wasn't over here. Where did you kill the firefighter, Morat? I'm not sure. That firefighter die earlier and then get back up again? Not enough time has gone by for that. Yeah, let's go down to the main pile here. This is a crazy pile. I'm almost full already. I'm gonna have to either divest or something. FN, that's another handgun firing. Those don't need Glocks. Don't want a Smith and Wesson. Grab that. 